Hi everybody, this is Barasha and this is my first tutorial that I'm going to make. I'm going to show how to make a flip-flop. I've been making quite a number of flip-flop over the last couple of weeks in my cupcakes and people keep asking me how to make the flip-flops. So I'm going to make a tutorial how to make the flip-flops. So first let me uh, put some sugar dust on my surface. And I just used a red fondant, which I pre-colored pre it already. So what I'm going to do is, let me show you what are the things that you need. You need a butterfly cookie cutter, a rolling pin. You need two to three different kinds of fondants or gum paste so that you could make your flip-flops. And you need a paintbrush, some water, and a sharp knife. So let's get started. So first I'm going to roll out my base fondant. That's going to be the bottom of the flip-flop. So here it is. Once I attend the desired thickness, I'm going to use the cookie cutter to cut a butterfly. So I'm going to use the cookie cutter and press it against my fondant. Remove the excess fondant. And using this tool, I'm going to remove it from the cutter lightly. And there you can see oh, so delicate a butterfly okay so next what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this butterfly and i'm gonna cut off the center part so using a knife i'm gonna cut the center part of the butterfly So here goes the center part and then using this tool I'm gonna curve the edge so that it has a smoother edge to it and not sharp corners so this kind of forms the base of my flip-flop so next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna interchange them so there you go it looks like a flip-flop now so after this, I'm going to take the second colored fondant, which I'm going to use to make the straps. So I'm going to take a small piece of that, roll it in between my fingers first, and then try to make a smaller balls. Then try to make a spaghetti. I think it's a little big. Here's here. So here I have the spaghetti and I'm gonna make a eye imagination and cut it off to, to make the strap and then I'm gonna wet my brush into water and I'm gonna wet my flip flop so that I can put the strings to it. Now, here I have the first end, the second end goes there, and then I have the third end. And when I come to the edges, I'm going to tuck them, If you, I don't know whether you can see them because of my hand, but I'm going to tuck them underneath the flip-flop, the base, so you can seems like the straps going all around it so here is a flip-flop now to decorate it you can do anything you want to you can use a piping tip and make indentations so it kind of has a texture on the surface 
let me show it to you. I don't know whether you can see them, but there are small holes that I made. It's like an embossment. And using the small blossom cutter, I already made two flowers. So I'm going to put the flower on top of my string. And then to add a little more uh, detail to it, I'm going to take a really small I'm going to take a white fondant, then tear off a really small piece and then stick it on the flower. So I have to wet the flower first. Okay. The water adds acts as a glue, so it works really well to stick something to the surface. There are other kinds of glues that you can use, edible glues, using Tylos powder and water. But water works for me, so I eliminate the process of making the gum. So here you go, the flip flops. And similarly, you can make the second pair. And then you can use various colors, various combinations and designs to make different kinds of flip flops. I hope you uh, liked the video and have gain something from the video thank you and have a nice day hope to hear from you soon